Hello, welcome to my home. Let's get started. Today we're gonna to make some scrambled eggs the way my grandma taught me. We got a good Teflon pan, non-stick. Got a mixing bowl. All we need is a fork. We got five eggs here. About a tablespoon of, uh, or uh, yeah, a tablespoon of salted butter. We have salt, ground pepper, and a little bit of milk. So to begin here, I'm gonna go ahead and crack open some fresh eggs. And I'll bring the camera over once I'm done here. And uh, the trick that we need to do here for these scrambled eggs, and I'm making them from one person. Normally I do the whole dozen eggs for my family of four. What I'm gonna do here on this uh, last egg to get some extra creaminess is that I am going to separate the whites from the yolk and only pour in the yolk. We can save those whites for later. The next thing that I wanna do is I'm sure no shells are in the, in the, in the uh, mixing bowl here. And I'll give you a shot of what these eggs look like. So there's five yolks, one without the whites. And what I want to do here is I want to mix them up. But I don't want to overbeat them. I just want to combine the yolk with the whites. Don't want to overbeat this. And when I'm using a big batch, I usually count to six. 70 or 70 strokes. I know it seems like a lot, but it goes back really fast. I count fast and I go to make sure that I'm not overbeating them. And uh, I'm gonna add a little dash of milk. Mix that in there. Now, I hear that half and half is the best uh, form of dairy to use. You can use 2%, you can use whole milk, or you can use a splash of water. While that is sitting now, I, I'm gonna have my pan warming up on low heat. And what I want to do is get the pan uh, nicely uh, warmed up thoroughly. I, I want the, the entire pan to heat up. It, it helps to have a, a thermal uh, laser uh, gun that will tell me that my pan is evenly warmed up. The eggs are cold and when you're adding them to a, a pan, you know, you want your pan to have a little some thickness to it to absorb the, uh, the uh, cold uh, aspect of the eggs. You want it to be able to handle that. You know, that's why uh, cast iron skillets are great because they retain their heat. There's so much mass density in the metal of the pan that when you're adding something cold to it, it, it can, it, it will keep its heat. Uh, when you're, <clears throat> not able to keep your heat, uh, the temperature comes down, it, the cooking time takes longer. And if you're wanting to apply a mallard uh, browning uh, effect to uh, your, your meat or, or what you're cooking, uh, you, you wanna make sure you retain your heat. Without it, you end up steaming uh, your foods and that's not very good. So we're gonna let this warm up. Um, a good, uh, sign that your pan is ready to go is that if you splash a little water in there and the water starts dancing that it's it's good to go but if it doesn't your pan is not warm enough uh, there's another trick that i have here with butter when i add the uh, pallet of butter i want the bulb the butter to start bubbling uh, uh, and and i swirl it around and that's when i know that it's ready uh, to have eggs added to it okay i believe my pan is nicely warm i can feel it the heat coming up on the back of my hand, just to give it another test, I can see water is is bouncing. Let me see if I can get that for the camera. So I know that is nice and hot. Go ahead and add my butter. Now you can use extra virgin olive oil, but we're going with the traditional way that my grandma Taught me. Let's get the camera over here. So we see the 
the butter is bubbling up. Now I haven't seasoned my eggs just yet. Uh, it has to do something with the proteins. The salt and the proteins have uh, an effect on each other, but I see that it's starting to brown. I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs. And this is where I kill the heat. If you have gas, it's a lot easier to regulate. And this is when I season my eggs, a little salt, and some fresh ground pepper. And I'm gonna put the camera down to do that. So I just add a little bit of pepper. Now you don't have to have it, but what I wanna do here is just let it do its thing. And a good sign that I'm ready to mess with this is when the edges start to firm up a bit. I've cut the heat because my uh, electric range sucks. I wish I had gas, my old, house, my old house had gas. And I'm just watching this, letting it do its thing. And I, if, I, if I move my spatula through here, now, yep, that's a good sign here. That's the key here. You don't want to overly move your, your eggs around. And what I like to do is just like a fold method and stir. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this. And if I feel like the heat's too hot, I'll go ahead and take it off. And when your eggs look about runny, um, then that's when you're, that's, when they're pretty much done, you, you'll end up overcooking them in there. There you go. These are ready to be served for your family to enjoy. Got no browning whatsoever. And uh, that's how I make my eggs. I'm going to go ahead and plate them. Testimony of a nonstick pan. Get a fresh fork and enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. My grandma will be proud.